Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, beloved viewers. We welcome you to this beautiful day given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ and welcome you to the daily devotion of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion as we'll be using the daily fountain for our devotion today, the 14th day of January, the year of our Lord Jesus Christ through 2021. Our text today is Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 through 9. And our topic is confess, preach, meditate, and act. Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 through 9. Let us pray. Mighty God, the source of life, we thank you for the opening of this new day. We commit our lives into your hands that even as we study your word this morning, your word will dwell richly in us to guide us in all our ways this day and through our lifetime. So that through thick and thin, holy God, your word will be our companion. Open the eyes of our hearts to the understanding of your word. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Once again, you are all welcome. Joshua chapter 1, from verse 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' aid, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people, get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give them to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country to the great sea on the west. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I saw to their forefathers to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Beloved in Christ, words of encouragement, command and a charge to Joshua from the Lord God Almighty himself. 
So our topic again is confess, preach, meditate, and act. As at the time God was speaking to Joshua in our text, after the death of Moses, the book of the law that was already in existence were the books of Genesis to Deuteronomy. Today the old Bible is the book of the law from Genesis to Revelation. And we see at verse 8 of today's passage that God gave Joshua specific instructions concerning the word of God. He said to him, the word should not depart from your mouth. In other words, confess this word. To confess means to admit, to acknowledge it, to own it, to own up to it. Confess it. Let it be on your lips. Speak it. Say it. And so we are being charged today as it was to Moses, I mean to Joshua, the recipient of the word at that time, that we also today should live in the word of God. Let the word of God be on your lips today. Wherever you go, in whatever you are doing, let the word of God be your anchor. Speak it. Very often many of us speak wrong words. Words of the world. Vile words. But today, through the charge of our Lord God to Joshua, we are seeing God saying to us also, confess my word, speak forth my word, say it, hone it, acknowledge it. And of course, we know that the word of God is very powerful. And so, why was this church coming to Joshua at that time? We must note, Moses, the man of God, was dead. And these people were moving to the promised land. Joshua was afraid. Fear was all over him. Fear of what? If you look at Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 7 and 8, it tells us that in the valedictory speech of Moses to the people of Israel, he told them, in fact, he called forth Joshua and told him, you are taking the mantle of leadership because God had ordered him to anoint Joshua as such. And he encouraged him to lead the people to the promised land. And here again, God saying to Joshua, now Moses is dead. You have to take the leadership. Joshua was afraid because they were very close to the river Jordan. He was with Moses. He saw how the Red Sea was parted by the mighty hands of God. He saw the miracles performed through the servant of God, Moses. But now he would be leading the people, Jordan just before them. How are we going to cross the Jordan? How am I going to lead this mammoth crowd across the river Jordan? Fear of crossing Jordan. Again, fear of leading this rebellious people of Israel. How will I come to them and say, follow me? If they could disobey the man of God, Moses, how much more? Again, the fear of crossing the Jordan and pass through Jericho. Oh, great walled city of Jericho was before them. How are we going to cross Jericho and dislodge the people? And, of course, the fear of going into the Canaan land to fight those that are... Uh, acknowledged as mighty people living in the land. All these fears were there. But the word of God came to Joshua, said, be courageous. Do not be fearful. Be strong. He says, I will be with you. Verse 5. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. And I want to say to you, as you are listening to me this morning, are you having any fear of whatever thing whatsoever? Take heed 
to the word of God today. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. Do you believe this? Then confess it this morning and say, Lord, as I go out today, no one will be able to stand against me. No, nothing will stop me on my way. Nothing will impede my activities today. Speak forth your word. Confess the word of God. It says, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. Confess this into your life. It says, I will enlarge your territory. In verse 4. It says, I will, I, I will so bless you. Verse 6 says, be strong and courageous. Because you will lead. What the Lord has promised to your generations. What the Lord has promised your ancestors. What the Lord has promised your family that you are yet to receive. If you believe the word of God and confess it, the Lord will bring them to pass in your life. He says, what I saw to your forefathers, I will give you. That's what God said to Joshua. And by extension to you listening to me this morning. But again, he says, be careful to obey all the laws of the Lord. Heed the laws of the Lord. Keep the word of God. Confess it. And he says, preach it. That's the second thing there. It says, preach it. We are required to confess, speak, preach the word of God in season and out of season. That is according to Paul's letter, second letter to Timothy, chapter 4, verse 2. Preach it. To preach means to tell forth, forth tell. People around you, in your business arena, in your office, at home, wherever you go, speak forth your, the word of God. Preach it. Tell the good news. And that is the charge of God even to us believers in the Great Commission. Matthew 28. And again, people of God, we are to meditate on the word of God day and night. As you go on the way, meditate on the word you are hearing now. Think about it. Let it settle in your heart. Oh, the Lord says it will be with me. Oh, the Lord says nothing will stand against me. Oh, the Lord says he will enlarge my coast. Oh, the Lord says all the, he has promised my forefathers he will give unto me. I stand on the word of God today. Meditate on it. To meditate means to digest it, to ruminate over it. Make it a part of you. Let it be your DNA. Let it go deep down into your heart. Meditate. Think about the word you are hearing today. Let it circulate through your body. Dwelling richly in you. Again, we see act and to act on the word of god means to practice the word of god in our everyday life be the doer of the word of god and not the hearer only that is what elder james says in james chapter 1 verse 22 he said do not be the hearer of the word of god but the doer of the same so people of god today as you face the daily task as you move out from one point to another confess the word of god speak it into your life Meditate on it, preach it, practice it, and God will prosper you. He will give you good success beyond measure, beyond your comprehension. God will open doors for you. God will lift you up. God will give unto you what you have not even dreamt of. For he knows your needs. He, know, he cares for you, but he wants you to obey his word, heed his word, confess it. Preach it, meditate on it, act on it today, and you will surely be blessed. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that this day you give us the grace to confess your word, to preach the same, to meditate on it, to practice it, O oh God, without compromise, that wherever we go today, your word, O oh Lord, will reflect in our lives. And every promise you've made, O oh God, because your word is here and amen. And the Bible tells us that every promise you made to your servants came to pass. Lord, all the promises you have made concerning us, concerning our families, as we set out today, let them come to fulfillment in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we stand upon the authority of your word today, 
we go out conquering and to conquer all forces of darkness around us and to return back home safe and sound today, hail and hearty, to give you thanks and praise, glory and honor as our heavenly Father. Thank you, O Lord, for answered prayers. To you be the glory forever, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. If you have been blessed by the word of God today, people of God, oh, I congratulate us again for seeing this day. Let us go out and live out the word of God and keep watching the Advent Cable Network Nigeria and be part of the next edition of the Daily Fountain. The Lord will bless you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. To alert the sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen.